All right, cool. Uh, we have an unboxing of two amazing watches. Uh, I've been looking forward for this moment just because uh, these look phenomenal in picture. I looked up in the videos and uh, there's not much videos of these watches. So uh, uh, I know these are up and coming uh, watches for sure. So uh, hopefully this helps for you guys to make your decision whether you guys get it or not. Thank you so much for my lady for gifting me this beautiful one here. And uh, she's also my tripod, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where my tripod is at the moment. So let's get this over with. We're not over with, but let's get this uh, done with the unboxing of the Rose Gold D1 Milano. Uh, yeah, thank you, baby. This is a gift from her, and wow, would you look at that. Stunning. At all different angles. And I've actually previously worn these watches, so uh, this is actually very comfortable. Extremely stylish, you get a lot of compliments, and what's insane is that it looks good at every single angle, as you can tell. Can you see that? Yeah, let me see if I can make sure I focus it. Oh. Not the best lighting, but something I can definitely work with. And thank you so much, baby, for being my tripod. You're yeah, you're awesome. I mean, I don't know how many views this is going to get, but this is just for people that want to buy the watch. I didn't have a video, so I'm making a video for people. Put it on. I already uh, sized it for myself, and uh, there you have it. Wow. And you can just kind of see how it reflects light at every single angle. So uh, if anything, I feel like this guy's vision is to uh, really market these watches by itself. Uh, you take a picture of this, everyone's going to compliment on it. It definitely does stand out a lot. And for a watch under $500, I don't see why this wouldn't be an option for anyone that's looking for a rose gold watch. And uh, I mean, I'm a watch enthusiast. I look into the Patek's, Audemars Piguet, and just to kind of have a watch at this price point is pretty impressive. And uh, just kind of give you some more close shots. There you have it. Gorgeous timepiece. And the, uh, that's the back casing here. And uh, just kind of add the touch. At the end of it, it says D1 Milano right there. Yeah, you can barely see it. Boom. Pretty cool. What a lovely watch. The uh, back face, that's just pitch black is awesome. And the uh, glass is actually has slight hints of blue and it adds to its elegance. So I'll leave this on the side. All right, and now here's another one, which is the Skeleton Automatic. It came out recently, and I saw the pictures, and I was like, I need to get one. And I got one, and there we are. <laughs> and this thing is beautiful. Uh, one of those watches where it's like the picture just does not do it justice. I mean, you got to see this up front. I mean, it's incredible at the price point and how this quality feels. Uh, let's take it out. I wonder how many views this is going to get. <laughs> you can get anywhere between a couple hundred to just five to maybe, I don't know, like 10,000? You think we'll get up there? Yeah. Okay, think, okay cool. I'm taking this off. So I chose the rubber band or the uh, rubber uh, watch band just because uh, I've always wanted something at this style because of the contrast. And also because of the uh, comfort that comes usually in rubber straps and obviously you know, I didn't really know what to expect because there's not a video of this one and it's really new but uh, I might be the first one to actually post a video on this one and this is a skeleton and it's beautiful, it's automatic. Uh, what I love about it is the fact that it has no second hand, uh, makes the watch look a lot cleaner and what's really cool is the detailing and the depth effect that it has. So when, as you can see everyone and turning it, you can really see that there is depth in the watch and I think that's... Stunningly beautiful. I just love how the logo itself, the D1 Milano, just sits and rests on top as if it's floating. And it's pretty incredible. And from afar, I mean, it really does look like a Hublot or an Audemars. And uh, definitely does carry that presence. I just love the casing even in the back. How it just, uh, that automatic piece right there just fits in so well to, the, to that glass. I just think it's something very aesthetically beautiful. And the uh, watch fits like a glove. Let me have one real quick. Okay. Yeah, the commercial break. <laughs> no, it's not commercial. I mean, check out the other. It just takes a little time to just kind of put it on. But once you get it on, I mean, it's very, very comfortable. The rubber is extremely uh, 
comfortable. I know I said that already, but uh, I think it's a great watch just because you can, you know, wear it wherever you need to, like even at the pool. And uh, so classy. Oh my God. It looks good. What do you think, baby? It's gorgeous. Great. Well, it's D1 Milano. I mean, it's not a professional review or anything, but uh, just to kind of get people uh, just a hands-on look of how these watches will look like, just because I know people are going to start buying these. And uh, honestly, the watches here advertises itself. I mean, at the price point that you get it for, this one's 640 bucks. I just don't know any other watches out there that really uh, look like this, let alone uh, the quality of it, too. It feels great. I mean, I know it's not the best, it's not. It's still Japanese movement, but uh, they did it really well. Design's great, execution's great, and I'm really happy and the proud owner of these watches. So uh, there we have it. Take your pick. I've got the automatic and the uh, rose gold. And uh, honestly, very, very happy with it. Uh, just cause, yeah, I mean, really clean. Really, really clean, so there we go.